Chad Colby's look at agriculture technology comes your way next, brought to you by the IBM Watson Decision Platform. Combining AI with Internet of Things data to help agribusiness increase yields, improve quality, and drive sustainability. Welding is a vital skill for a lot of folks involved in agriculture. And of course, in the summertime, when something breaks, perhaps some hay equipment, you got to get out there, do a little bit of welding. You're often doing it in the dust and in the heat of summer. Well, Chad Colby has an update for us. Maybe you don't have to weld in the heat anymore. Do you like to weld? I know when I was a young man, my father taught me how to weld. And I remember the first time I bought one of those fancy welding helmets. You know the type, the type that auto sense the light. My dad, I think, thought I was crazy to spend that kind of money. Now, it's commonplace, as we all know, but there's been some pretty intense enhancements in that technology, and I got a first-hand example of that, and I wanted to share it with you this week on our tech segment. At a recent visit to TCI Manufacturing in Walnut, Illinois, I was talking with their team, and TCI Manufacturing specializes in building high-end equipment in the aggregate industry, like this feeder stacker you see right here. And one thing's consistent about a product like this, there's a lot of welding. And when I talked to Patrick Reaver, the president of TCI Manufacturing, he showed me some of the new technology they got, and one of them is this new helmet from Miller. Here it is on my head, and the cool part about it is it's got its built-in ventilation system. It's got all the technology you need as far as to protect your eyes. The visor actually flips up also and has a clear lens. Anytime you get new technology, there's some really strong enhancements. And with this system, it's the ventilation. Obviously, it's got great protection around your face and eyes. Helmets have had that for years, but the ventilation is really the key here. That pack on the back has a built-in HEPA filter. They recommend changing it about every 30 days or so. As I commented with these operators, they both shared with me it was a lot more pleasant experience when you're welding all day simply because you got some nice fresh air pumped inside these helmets. They also like how convenient it was to use that flip-up visor. You didn't have to take the helmet on and off your head. You're looking about four or five times the cost of a regular helmet, and if you weld a lot, it's definitely worth it. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby. Thank you, Chad. It's incredible to see how technology can improve the quality of life, even in something as old-fashioned as welding. It just keeps getting better.